Let's fucking go, Hells Angels. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. When the shit hits the fan, who you calling, huh? Aurora, Colorado. Venezuelan street gangs have taken over multiple apartment complexes. I saw a video of a Target completely overrun by these savages. The local PD, the government officials, or the military have all failed to do a damn thing about it so far. These poor people out there living in fear from this Venezuelan street gang and their savages running around. Guess who's on the way, fuckers? One percenters! From what I can gather, a young lady put out a video yesterday calling out the president of the club. If you're willing, would you please mount up your boys and send them out? You're who we need. Less than a day later, they're en route. So who are you really calling when shit hits the fan, huh? You're going to call your local PD, your government, for them to tell you that they can't do anything about it? Squatters' rights? Let these animals run all over your local streets with automatic weapons? Lawless? Savage? We got savages too, motherfuckers. About to find the fuck out. Really? like being held hostage. Cindy was a prisoner in her own home. She's lived in this building at 12th and Dallas for years. This summer, when crime got worse, Cindy got cameras. Doorbell video shows a group of armed men forcing their way into her neighbor's home. Another night, her camera outside captured two men approaching a vehicle, guns drawn. She's called 911 so often, they know her by name. He said, um, ever consider leaving. If I could afford to leave, I wouldn't be there. She says neighbors fall asleep to gunfire, her car still damaged from an overnight shootout. This is a bullet hole. It was one of the this few times Aurora police responded. Hole. They will call me and say, I'm sorry, but we're not coming. We're not coming until it's a bad enough crime. This week, her pleas for help were finally answered, not by the city, but by Councilwoman Danielle Jarinski. I think that politics is being played here with people's lives. While APD and the city denied gang activity, Jarinski moved Cindy out of that apartment herself. For weeks, officers have told her Sometimes. their hands were tied. So what I am told is that police leadership put it out that no less than like three or four officers could respond to one of these complexes. Wednesday, Aurora police said they're aware that components of TDA are operating in Aurora. Word has it, the Venezuelan gangs have taken over Aurora, Colorado. Is this really true? And if it is true, why have the Aurora gangs, such as the Bloods, the Crips, why have they not came together and knocked off these Venezuelans? Why are they allowing these Venezuelans to take over the hood? Because if you didn't know any better, Aurora is a hood though. It's not a, it's not a it's quiet community. It's not a quiet suburb by no means. It's, it's, don't get me wrong, there's parts of Aurora, but where the parts where these Venezuelans are at right now is the hood. And on tonight's episode, we're gonna touch on these topics right here. And we're gonna, we gonna get down to the nitty gritty about is this really true? Is this really happening? And if it is, why is this? Why why are these gangs allowing this shit right Back here? in so. June in Denver, so our partners at News Nation, they're reporting it's part of a Venezuelan gang. They do report Homeland Security officials turned over the suspect Gene Torres Roman to the Denver County Sheriff's Office. The brutal robbery caught on video shows several young men pulling guns, even pistol whipping two women. Y'all are new to the channel. Let me give y'all a little history about me. I'm a, I'm a Denver native myself, born and raised uh, 40 plus years, you know, Denver, Colorado, uh, you know, did a little bit of time in the Department of Corrections, learned my lesson, put that chapter way behind me. My foot been heavy on the pedal for direction ever since. And, you know, on this channel, I do a, 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 a vast, um, a vast, vast topic range of all different kinds of things, current events, but mainly I keep it around the shit that really, you know, street related, so forth, so forth, you know what I mean? But, you know, if you're new to the channel here, I appreciate y'all subbing up. Shout out to all the old subscribers that have been down with me since I started this channel. Y'all seeing the growth right there. And without y'all, you know, this channel's nothing without y'all. You know, if I make these videos, nobody watching, there ain't no point for them to make them. So shout out to you for being a viewer and being tapped in. And, you know, as we do it with every video, we're going to discuss this right down in them comments right there. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this right here. And we can debate this logically, you know what I mean? Because I'm not a political person. Personally, my, 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 my political views is I believe in God and pray to God and I put my trust in God. I don't I don't I don't believe Republican uh 
Democrat, I don't feel like none of them are going to save me. I don't feel like my vote is going to change none of this shit. I feel like there's an agenda and that agenda is going to be worked either our way. I, you know, it, it may feel good and pleasing to most people to think that their vote really does matter. And I'm probably losing viewers just by saying this, but fuck it. Th this video probably is not for you then because at the end of the day, the agenda is going to be worked one way or another. And I know just to rewind real quick in Denver, Colorado, too, late 2022, there's been a mass influctuation of uh, migrants that have came over from Venezuela and many other places. You know, the border being open as it is, and now Denver is a sanctuary state, or sanctuary city, shall I say, not the state. The whole state of Colorado is not a sanctuary. Uh, since 2022, there's been almost 40 to 50,000 uh, migrants that have immigrated to Denver, Colorado, and the surrounding areas since you know all of them are going to stay right in Denver. And if you follow me on TikTok, you know, I cover, I've been covering the Venezuelan migrants and stuff for quite a while now. And uh, if, you, if you don't follow me on TikTok, make sure you follow me. I've got some uh, posts on these that have touched, you know, over a million views and counting uh, in regard to, you know, the, the flow of what's been happening in Denver, Colorado, because truthfully, ever since these migrants have came into Denver, they've definitely brought down the whole city. I mean, like literally, you know what I mean? And, and it's not saying just crime wise, but I mean, just the overall feel of the city. And it, it's not just the migrants, you know, I feel like after COVID and the George Floyd shit, that's when Denver really started going down, downhill and almost beyond the point of no return almost because, you know, the, the, it just, it just feels dirty in the city. You know what I mean? The city just feels dirty. It just, you know what I mean? And it's, I don't know, the migrants surely haven't helped by any means because the tax, the tax dollars have been, the funding out of the city has been pulled to go ahead and help and address, which we're all migrants. We're all migrants in some way, some form, some fashion. You know, I'm not against, uh, uh, you know, anybody being a migrant. You know, my, my family came over here too. You know, my, my people are uh, Danish, Irish, and German. So, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you know, this, this ain't my founding, my founding place to begin with neither. But, you know, there's something to be said about people who do come from them third world countries and come over here because they bring their third world ways over here. And it's clear, it's evident in, in Denver, Colorado that, these migrants have brought their ways over here. Now, the gang that, that they're saying has taken over Aurora, Colorado is probably incorrect in my humblest of opinion because Aurora, Colorado has always been the hood, though. This ain't, this ain't you know, I see the headlines and they'll say that uh, Aurora is a quiet suburb and that these, you know, it was once a quiet suburb. Bullshit. The, the buildings that they're talking about with these Venezuelans, they've always been a hood, though. These have been the hood for a long time. My mother used to live in a trailer park in the, in the area for, uh, similar to this right here back in the late 70s. It's always been a hood, though. I mean, I'm very familiar with all these areas. And now they just worse, though. You know what I mean? Now, now you've got the immigrants that actually have moved into these apartment complexes. And have they taken over? Is, and they're in there, and they're deboing the, the the black gangs and shit. No, that's not that's not what's happening over there. By no means. What's happening is the immigrants are extorting their own people. They're 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 extorting other migrants. So they're they're extorting, and they're having issues amongst themselves, and they're having shootouts, and they're having gang activity. You can't think with fifty thousand fucking immigrants coming over. You can't expect. That they're that they're not going to bring their gangs and all that shit along with them. Of course they're going to be. I mean, but before that, there's already been gang activity there already. You know what I mean? Shootouts on a regular basis, all kinds of shit. Now, you know, the one there's the one that we've seen that's on Gnome, right? The Gnome one is the one that was condemned. Rumors on social media make it hard to see the truth. So when we heard the rumors about 1568 Gnome in Aurora being taken over by a Venezuelan gang, we had no choice but to look into it. If you know Aurora, then what you know is we have areas in our city, unfortunately, that have been overtaken and that we have to take back. Mayor Kaufman alluded to it, but didn't specify what area. The property investor we talked to on the phone said his attorney wrote a letter to the AG's office about the gang that had, quote, forcibly taken control. I think it's entirely racist. I think it's uh, a way for them to shift the focus from their lack of accountability and lack of transparency. V Reeves, an advocate with House Keys Action Network Denver, says it's just a way to shift the blame. 
when the city says it has, quote, documented substantial, long-standing, unresolved violations, code enforcers have taken these pictures of rats on the property and piled up trash. And in other tales of a bad landlord, the company won't even pay their Aurora water bill. So are there gangs? The city won't definitively say yes or no. They say they're aware of a national concern and will work to determine if there is a connection. Now, there's a second apartment complex that is on the brink of being uh, labeled a criminal nuisance property. And Aurora is just not, is, is going through the motions to clear that one out. The city of Aurora is contradicting itself on the extent of Venezuelan gang activity in that city. The mayor told Fox News this week the gang is collecting rent at a troubled apartment complex. The interim police chief in a video press release says that's not happening. It's, uh, it's an intimidation factor. We've got, uh, you know, Venezuelan gang members who, who have gone into an apartment complex uh, that, that where there's a concentration of, of Venezuelans uh, and uh, pushed out the property management uh, through intimidation, and, and now they're intimidating uh, the, the tenants there to, to pay them uh, the rent and, and probably uh, extort other things from them. I'm not saying that there's not gang members that don't live in this community, but what we're learning out here is that gang members have not taken over this complex. We've really made an effort to the last few days to just really ask the specific questions or the direct questions in terms of the gang activity and who's actually uh, if, making sure that people aren't paying rent to gang leaders or gang members, that that's not happening. And we've discovered here today and, talk, and yesterday talking to you know, so many residents that that's not the case. So we don't generally air video news releases from police departments and cities for ethical reasons. We weren't there to shoot that video ourselves or ask Chief Morris any questions. But her comments in that video directly contradict what Mayor Kaufman said and add further confusion in a week when the city's public statements on Venezuelan gang activity hasn't always lined up. Mayor Kaufman has said contradictory things in interviews just hours apart. The city's trying to get a court order to clear out two or three apartment buildings to combat gang activity. They're planning to declare the properties a, quote, criminal nuisance. With that being said, you know, I seen something today and today is Saturday, the uh, 31st. And, uh, you know, what they're saying now is the Hell's Angels are coming into Aurora to take on the, the, the Venezuelan gangs. How true this is, but I have seen multiple videos in the last 10 minutes that are showing the Hell's Angels heading to Colorado, to Aurora. I, this is going to be interesting. Um, Anybody else hearing that? Like, I, I've seen footage of it, but you know, things get like crossed on here, but wow. Howdy folks, this Pops. You know, back in my day, the Hells Angels was something. They were something. I mean, they were mean. People were afraid of them. Didn't know what to do with them. I didn't even know the Hells Angels still existed, but they do. And they're on their way to Aurora, Colorado to deal with the Venezuelan gangs. Oh boy. This is Pops, Mrs. Hyro. Is the rumor true that the Hells Angels are on their way to Aurora, Colorado? Because I sure hope not. Let me tell you about this Hells Angels. There's almost like they're almost like a million strong. And they consist of, you never hear of a hell's angel getting convicted. They consist of lawyers, doctors, thugs, um, ex-military, uh, policemen, firemen, every person, every American you can think of, every real American that you can think of, there, there's that category in the hell's angels. And the Hells Angels are respected by even the military. So if this is true, it's almost like, because I'm sure we can't wait for uh, Sleepyhead to call the National Guardian, because they, they're not. So I assume that that is why the Hells Angels are on their way. And if they are... <sighs> Them folks better run. I don't care how bad badass of a gang you are. You have you had better run.
which if you ask me is some bullshit, I don't know what the fuck, what the fuck is the hell's angel gonna do? You know what I mean? This has already been a hood. Who who are y'all gonna fight though? Y'all it's not like you pull up out into Aurora and you just see like, you know, all these Venezuelans just sitting out there with all these assault rifles and you know, it ain't even on that type of time right there. You know, the this the neighborhood that these that that this shit is going on in, there's some hard working people that live there. I mean, these are these are this is a real neighborhood, like you know, it's a hood area, right? But they're still hard, and, and all the migrants aren't bad migrants, though. There's some hardworking migrants as well, but what the fuck would the hell is Angels doing? Why would y'all, you know, is this publicity for you motherfuckers? What, what are y'all gonna do? Y'all y'all ain't been trying to help clean up motherfucking Aurora with all the gangs and prostitution and shit that had been going on there for so, so while. So why the fuck, now you wanna show up because they're headlines? So for me personally, I, I feel like this is a, an agenda. There's a lot of agenda that's going on with, with the elections coming up here in November. You know, it's, it's interesting to see all this headline news and see the the, the, the public really get, get, get up in arms and worried about this because clearly there's a, there's a huge influxuation of migrants, right? And, and clearly Aurora allows a lot of the lawlessness that goes along with this. And this is why I think this is an agenda because, you know, a few months, what was it, last month, there was a huge get together by all these uh, Venezuelans for the elect uh, elections that were going on in Venezuela. Video this morning, a large group of Venezuelans gathering near Target on Havana in Mississippi. Aurora police say the gathering was connected to the presidential election held in Venezuela yesterday. APD had officers at the scene to make sure things didn't get out of control. There were reports of shots fired, but officials believe people were shooting into the air. Nearby businesses closed early for safety precautions. They had a meeting on uh, Havana, Mississippi, where had this been that many people of minorities, of blacks and Mexicans together, doing the shit they was doing in that parking lot, partying, shooting off guns, police would have been crashed that shit. They'd have, they, they'd have had SWAT units on that shit, canines, the whole nine. But for some reason, they didn't do this shit with the migrants. They didn't do that shit with them. Now, is that because they know that they can't deport them? I mean, you, I mean, the the police, the police are already defunded. So clearly there's way more than there is the police. So maybe, maybe they know that they would kick off a war almost to a degree that they couldn't handle. Cause I mean, these people really don't really, I mean, what do they really got to lose though in comparison to you know, your average uh, uh, Aurora citizen. What do what you really got to lose? Uh, uh, an Aurora citizen, let alone an Aurora gang member, has way more to lose because they're actually uh, a, 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 a civil, not a, civ a, a civilian of Aurora, though. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, a lot of people I see in the comments on my TikTok shit, they'll be like, why are the Aurora gangs, or they'll say like the Denver and Aurora gangs are soft. They're allowing the Venezuelan gangs to come in there and take over. But you dumb motherfuckers don't get it. Like this isn't this isn't like a gang takeover where the Venezuelans are taking over the hood and they're not allowing the Bloods or Crips or whatever there is. Cause in Aurora, there's all kind of different gangs. And now you, you may you may live in an apartment complex that has motherfucking some GDs in that motherfucker that might have some Bloods, might have some Crips. You know what I mean? Like Aurora, Aurora is mainly a, a, a crip area though. Uh, for as long as I've known it, it's always had a gang of different hoods in it. Serranos, the whole motherfucking nine. So it's not like Aurora really belongs to like one motherfucking gang. Like if you go to Park Hill and you got the Bloods, you know what I mean? Or you go to the East Denver and you got mainly Crips. Now Aurora, Aurora is a melting pot of all different hoods right there. So. When, Muff, when the news says this is a gang takeover of Aurora, it's really not though. They're really not taking over Aurora, but they're they're definitely the, the major, my, my, my majority in, in Aurora though. Like, I mean, damn, 50,000 fucking immigrants pushed into Denver. I mean, shit. And Aurora already had a huge Hispanic population. Now, I, I've noticed, right, you know, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of Mexican, Chicano, Americans, don't like the Venezuelans because everybody thinks the Venezuelans are Mexican and they get a, a bad eye for that shit. But, you know, at the end of the day, if anybody should be policing the motherfucking migrants or being on top of them, it, sh it should be motherfucking of the, the same type of, you know, it, it shouldn't be the Bloods and the Crips having that motherfucking check nan Venezuelan. But believe me, I, I don't I don't foresee any blood or Crips being being dominated or pushed out the motherfucking uh, mix by the Venezuelans, you know, these motherfuckers that are blooding and cripping in Denver and Aurora, they with the shit too, you know what I mean? If 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 if, if stepped on or pushed up, pushed in, in the right direction, 
they finna go and they and they don't give a fuck about the Venezuelans like that. So it's not about the Bloods and the Crips and the Denver gangs, the war gangs allowing the Venezuelans. Why the fucking Hell's Angels shit is is, is comical to me? Because fuck are y'all gonna do? Y'all y'all pulling up in all these motorcycles and making it a, a, a like if you was really gonna do something, you y'all need to cloak yourself and go out there and just do be be around there in fives and tens, you know what I mean? And do your motherfucking thing. This is all for the for the spotlight, in my opinion. But once again, I think there's an agenda. I feel like there's a political agenda being worked here, you know what I mean? Because the police are allowing the lawlessness. And you know, with those apartment buildings that they talk about being shut down. Them, them. That part of that is a slumlord, though, big time. Part of that, part of that is is the owner. Those have always been hood apartments, though. Now, have they got out of control where the owner can't can't? Maybe they got ran off the property. That's a high probability because I've seen the story about the uh, the, the one of the main shot callers. I think his name was Cookie, and he got arrested, and they tried to deport him, couldn't deport him. The New York Post just published an article today detailing the crime spree that is going on in Aurora from the Venezuelan gang activity that is flooding in from next door in Denver. In the article, when it covers the apartment building on Nome that was shut down due to the whatever issue, they cover this man here who supposedly is a shot caller for the Venezuelan gang. The article goes further on to say that in 2022 is when he crossed into Texas and he was vetted by the federal border authorities, but they didn't see anything wrong with his criminal past. In 2023, the man was part of a brutal assault that almost turned deadly at the apartment complex. Also during this arrest, he was identified as part of a gang that steals from Walmart and also claimed that he runs the apartment complex. The article also says that this gang terrorized and threatened apartment staff as well as the owners and illegally collected rent from other migrants who were threatened. In March of 2024, the man was arrested for several felony assault charges, but bailed out of custody, failed to show up for his court date, and then he was arrested again July 28th, this past July, while allegedly carrying out a shooting at the same apartment complex. After this past arrest, he was ordered to be deported, but since Venezuela does not accept deportations, the man is likely to stay here in the U.S. Now, could that have been the issue where the, where the owner showed up and tried to, you know, and, and got ran out? That, that's a possibility. And then he just said, fuck it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not putting no more money into doing none of this shit right here. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's a little bit of both. It, it was never, it was never just a great place to be at anyway. You know what I mean? These, none of these apartments have ever just been great places to live at. All, all these have been hood spots to begin with. They just, they just got worse and worse and worse. But you know, that, that's, that's, that's a crying shame though, for sure though. You know, you think that people would come across the border and get another chance at a better quality of life. You know, they would, they would shoot to go for, you know, go for the gusto, right? They'd really try to utilize and, 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 and climb, but it, it's not that motherfucking simple, is it, right? You know, people have got ways and a lot of people may have came out of prisons and mental institutions and shit like that as well that are now in those, in those communities of migrants and they're, and they're, and they're, they're extorting their own people though. You know what I mean? That one, one, one bad apple is ruining the whole batch right there in that sense, but you know, that's my opinion on it. You know, what I, do, I, do I see that these Venezuelans are taking over or are, are dominating the Aurora gangs, the Denver gangs? No, nah, none of that shit right there. It's just, it's just contributing more and more and it's heightening more and more issues inside of a community that already had problems to begin with because these, these ain't affecting, these Venezuelans aren't affecting the, the, the Cherry Creeks, the Highlands Ranches, the predominantly white areas or, you know, where all the money's at, they're, they're, not, they're not affecting it. If they started affecting it, there'd be a way, you would see National Guard, you would see police, none of this shit would fly, but since it's the hood, they'd be, they, they'd be, they'd be allowing this shit right here, in my humblest of opinions. But, you know, at the end of the day, there's, there's definitely a political agenda, in my humblest of opinions, and you know, with the migrants coming over here, they, they've had access to funding and all kinds of benefits and stuff like that, which they've used in different forms and fashion. And of course, you know, there's been crime that's been committed by the, the migrants. I mean, shit, what do you expect a motherfucking person with nothing? What do you expect them to do though? They ain't got nothing. What do you expect? I mean, like, this is the law of the jungle. If they ain't got nothing, they gonna take from those that do have. And, and that's unfortunate, but you know, living in, in Denver is just like, Chicago, New York, they, there's other states that have the same issues and problems with these migrants. 
you know, Colorado is not the only place, but definitely the news headlines and the shit that comes out are adding a little bit of extra. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's certainly a problem in, a, in, in, in Aurora. There's definitely a problem in Aurora. There's a problem in these apartment complexes, but is it, is it really like the, that they're, that they're just taking over and dominating and shit like that? Uh, no, I don't, I don't see it like that though. I don't, I don't see it like that. They're, if anything, they're taking, they're, 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 they're fucking it up for their own people in my humblest of opinions. But you know, they've got access to guns, cars, motherfucking the whole nine. And you know, they ride around with no plates on their car. You know, Aurora allows that shit because the police are defunded. So they, they're prioritizing the more, the more drastic needed uh, emergency calls rather than having to pull over every fucking migrant that got the car with no plates on it. I mean, but at the end of the day, you know, the agenda is gonna be worked one way or another way. Colorado, can Colorado bounce back from this? Can Aurora bounce back from this? Uh, I don't I don't really foresee it. I, I, see, I see it continuing to go downhill even further and further. You know, publicity, all the news is on it. And you know, you've got, you've got the governor saying it's motherfucking, uh, uh, part of somebody's imagination. Then you got the mayor saying it's a real problem. You know, the, they're all over the board on this shit right here. But clearly, it's a problem in Aurora. Clearly, there's issues in Aurora. Well, 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 well. Will the hell's angels come save them? Nah. Will the bloods save them? Nah. Will the Will the crips step in and save them? Nah. You know, at the end of the day, this, this shit is this shit is bigger than the bloods, the crips, bigger than just the Venezuelans. This is an agenda to. to at the end of the day, on on America, period, point blank, this is like a civil a civil war that's waiting to happen. Almost, it's almost, you know, politically, it's gonna it's gonna fracture the states apart. In my opinion, at some point, there will be civil unrest. What's the word for it? Civil unrest, right? Is that what it's called? Where where the fractions will break apart and we'll be at we're at war with one another in our own in our own backyards, you know, but. You know, then again, this is just my opinion on the whole of the whole nine right here. You know, this this is this is my opinion, my thoughts on it. You know what I mean? Y'all let me know what y'all think down there in the comments below and shit uh, to the next one.